I have anything on my face? No. He gave me an eye. He was like, something's on your face. I'm going to do something uh, today. Uh, I'm going to be making something. I typically don't make a lot of sweets. Um, I like sweets. I don't have a huge sweet tooth. I'm the only one in my, my family that doesn't have a big sweet tooth. My mother loves her pastries. My sister loves her candy. And my father loves his soft caramels and his ice cream. Every single day he eats half a pint of ice cream. And he's a pretty like lean guy. He exercises and eats really healthy other than that. But uh, I'm going to be making halva today. Uh, this is a tahini based halva. This is the one that you typically see the most in the U.S. Uh, you'll see variations on this um, in the Middle East as well as uh, parts of India and Pakistan. I kind of streamlined the method. A lot of uh, uh, halva uh, recipes will tell you to use a stand mixer. This one does not require to use a stand mixer. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to make it. Okay, we're going to start by uh, just spraying our loaf pan with a bit of Nansen cooking spray. I lined it with parchment uh, with the like three inch overhang. This is just so you could easily lift the halva after it's been set. You can use some Nansen cooking spray. Try to do it in the sink so it doesn't go all over your floor. One and a half cups tahini, two tablespoons uh, sesame seeds. This is a mixture of black and white. You don't have to. I just like the way it looks and a quarter teaspoon kosher salt. We're just gonna give this a stir. You'll see halva with all kind of fold-ins. This is sesame seeds. Some people will put pistachios in and on top, uh, different types of nuts. I just kept it simple and kind of just went with sesame seeds. Next, we're gonna make the syrup that uh, we're gonna fold into the halva and that's what's gonna add the sweetness and also give it the shape. We're gonna cook the sugar down to a syrup. Okay, we have a small saucepan. We have half a cup water. We have one and a half cup sugar. And just give this a stir. I'm gonna turn this over to medium heat. And we're just gonna stir this until the sugar dissolves. You see right now that the water's cloudy. You'll know that the sugar has dissolved once the water becomes clear again. Once it's clear and the sugar has dissolved, We'll put in our candy thermometer. So this is probably going to take about six to eight minutes from beginning to start uh, relatively quickly. Once the sugar has melted, uh, we'll increase the heat to medium high and take it up to 250 degrees. Okay, so now the sugar has dissolved. I'm going to stop stirring from here on out. I don't want to kind of increase any kind of crystallization and I'm just going to insert the candy thermometer here and wait till that goes and hits 250 mark which is just slightly above in between softball and hardball. That's what we're going to be softball stage. This part happens really really quickly so you don't want to walk away or anything like that. Okay we just hit softball stage. That's 240. We're going to let it go a little bit further. And we wanted to get to the stage so that when you're mixing it into the tahini mixture, it will crystallize and it'll make the tahini set. Uh, and so it ends up giving it that kind of uh, crumbly texture uh, that you expect when you're eating uh, halva. And we're good. We're gonna take it off heat. This is gonna happen really quickly. The syrup has thickened. There's no color to it because we're not taking it to a caramel and we're just gonna slowly stream it in. And you're gonna see the tahini is gonna start to thicken. But you need to be really careful at this stage so that nothing splatters. Game over, it's something Game splatters. over, game over to your face, to your livelihood. You're gonna work as quickly as you can. And you're gonna continue to mix until the tahini mixture starts to kind of pull away just like this from the sides of the bowl. And then from there, you're gonna transfer it over and then just pat it down. You wanna work quickly, so before it sets. And you don't wanna over mix. Once it starts to pull away from the sides, you wanna stop because otherwise it's gonna to be too crumbly. 
them too dry. You don't want to work in too much air. It's okay if it's not perfect. I kind of just tap it down really hard like that. We're going to put that aside. We're going to let that set and harden. All right, we have our halva that's cooled, it's set. I'm just going to unmold this. Uh, you can just pull it out easily and then just kind of flip it over. We'll let this sit. And then we're gonna melt our chocolate. This is bittersweet chocolate. I definitely like the bittersweet chocolate for this. Really because halvas are already pretty sweet. You have a good amount of sugar and I kind of like the bitterness from the chocolate. And if you wanna go sweet, you could use semi-sweet, but I would definitely push for the bittersweet chocolate. So we have a saucepan of simmering water. We're gonna place our four ounces of chocolate over. You don't want the water to have any uh, direct contact to the bowl. And this will melt in a few minutes. I was in video production. Oh yeah? Yeah. It was great. It was so much fun. Mr. Hurd, the first day of class for video production, he's like, kids, you guys are going to make a lot of shitty movies, and we're going to watch them. <laughs> and I was just like, what? Who is this guy? The movie I made was kind of based off of uh, Basic Instinct with Sharon Stone and um, Double Indemnity. Double Indemnity and uh, uh, Sharon Stone. Because we were watching, all, we went through, we watched different kind of film periods and we focused on film noir and I just got obsessed with those two films even though we didn't watch them in that class. Okay, chocolate's melted. I'm gonna remove it. Ha! Okay, I'm gonna pour the chocolate over the halva. I'm just gonna use an offset to kind of push the chocolate through. It doesn't have to cut each bit. Okay, now I'm going to, while it's still melted, I'm gonna use some different toppings. The dried rose petals tend to come, uh, they're pretty coarse, so I like to just kind of use my fingers and kind of break them down a bit. I have some of the sesame seeds that are reserved, the black and white sesame seeds. Uh, we have some edible, edible dried flowers, uh, corn flowers. There is salt in the halva, but I like a little bit of flaky salt on top. I'm gonna let this sit so the chocolate can set. It's gonna take probably about 20 to 30 minutes. What do you think about the show Big Mouth? I haven't, I don't even know what that is. I like that shows are focusing on the early odds because it was a weird time period. What do you think of the song Big Mouth? The what? The song Big Mouth. Wait, who's, who's, oh. The uh, Smiths? Oh. I don't think we've ever spoken about the Smiths. I've never been a big Smiths fan. I didn't know that about you. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, the, the Garden State soundtrack, I think they were right on the Garden State soundtrack. I'm not, I don't know. They weren't on the Garden State soundtrack. They weren't? No. I don't know why I feel like no. that. No. It's like, it's just, oh, there is, there's a, yeah. yes, in Garden State, there's a thing about liking the Smiths. That's there it. is a thing about, <laughs> yes. That's true, they're, they're, they're That's a couple sad generations apart. The chocolate is set. Uh, I'm gonna just kind of transfer it over with my hands. So this halva is sliceable, but it's still crumbly. This one's not too sweet, especially with the bittersweet chocolate and the amount of salt on top. And the, why I love halva so much is like it's almost aerated that just dissolves on your mouth and it's really addictive. Um, it definitely can become messy, like it's going to, what's happening right now. Mm. But I love it. This is just one very simple version. Um, again, there's so many great versions that are made with different type of nut or seed butters. There's other halvas that are not even made with sutter, uh, seed um, butters. They're made with flowers um, that are typical in Iran, Pakistan, India. Uh, which are really delicious, but are very different from this. Halva is like one of those things that it's great on its own, but because of its savory quality, it works really well with other things. So halva folded into ice cream or, act, uh, or, or on top of ice cream is great. Even though I don't have too much of a sweet tooth, I do love halva, and this one's a really approachable recipe, and uh, hopefully you guys will make it. Look, 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 look how many people are here. 
They're just coming here to eat. They're just coming here to eat. I'm like, they're not tasting food, right? This is not a tasting. They're just eating food. They're living the dream. Yeah, not my dream. 